What we do here is go back, 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 back. So, who is Dr. Disrespect and why is he trending? Dr. Disrespect is a YouTuber and streamer turned creep who was well known for his gameplays and somewhat odd humor while wearing that weird ass outfit. He began dominating Twitch stream when he started posting more content on the platform, but all that came crashing down when he was caught in 4K messaging a minor on Twitch Whisper, DMs, and a lot of crazy shit that goes all the way back to 2020, resulted in him getting canceled, losing his sponsors, and his own company, Midnight Society fired him so let's talk about the deserved downfall of dr disrespect let's rewind to four years ago on june 26 of 2020 out of nowhere dr disrespect got banned off twitch and many people in the community did not understand why the sudden ban a representative for twitch posted this on twitter about dr disrespect and stated the following as in our process we take appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer has acted in violation of our community guidelines or terms of service these apply to all streamers regardless of the status and prominence in the community report this to the national center of uh, missing and exploited children why you not have, you have that on record yes why not request that's, that's a big deal why that not a big deal why not request that they have released information or why not request that law enforcement through this entire time which then very likely at the behest of mcm mec to do something have say something hold on that, that this is, is, this is we're about to make a clip for live stream fail slasher okay what you're telling me okay is that what doc did okay rose to the level that for a fact Twitch was forced to make a report oh. to the National Center for Missing and oh. Exploiting Children. BSEA and CSAM report. What I'm asking is that Twitch did make that report to the National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children. Yes. All of them go there. Yes. Okay. Along with that ban, Discord removed him from the partner program. At first, Dr. Disrespect had no idea why he was banned, even though his contract was in good standing. This resulted in him going to other platforms such as YouTube to make content. A year after the ban in 2021, Dr. Disrespect came forward to state that he found out why he got banned and will be suing Twitch. A lot of people ask me, do, do you know the reason? Yeah, I do know the reason why now. I've known for months now the reason why. And I'll just say this right now, champs. There's a reason why we're suing the f out of him okay then in 2022 he posted a statement on twitter discussing that he resolved his issues with twitch and won't be returning the platform at all he then goes on a crying campaign about how the band fucked up his career and how it was unjust quarter of what i was making on twitch you think a big time company like nike is gonna want to work with that big question mark huh? or disney Suck. Now this is the part where shit gets real and Dr. Disrespect and the age of consent have fucked up big time. On June 21st of this year, a former Twitch employee named Corey Connors came forward stating the disturbing reasons on why Dr. Disrespect was banned. Corey stated this, the reason why Dr. Disrespect got banned because he was caught texting, use your head, a on Twitch Whisper, then he tried to meet up with her at TwitchCon. Along with Connor, another employee named Raleem stated this as well. At first, Dr. Disrespect brushed it off and promoted his upcoming stream. And then while on that said stream the, that very day, he stated that he will not be talking about the situation. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said what I needed to say. I don't give a fuck about this guy. The face that he makes just says it all. He got caught and he's just trying to stick his guns and not take accountability. And then after all the backlash, Dr. Disrespect finally came forward in this lengthy Twitter statement confirming he did message a minor and had no intentions. My thing is this. That's what they all say. They all say they had no intentions, right? So Dr. Disrespect, you planning to meet said at twitchcon was not intent in the tweet he did stated that the messages were between him and a minor he said that it was just a mutual conversation it did not go as far and he said from a moral standpoint he takes responsibility and he shouldn't have entertained the conversation that's on me he's a husband an adult and a father and then he ends it off by saying if you are uncomfortable with this entire statement think i'm a piece of shit that's fine but i'm not going i'm not fucking going anywhere i'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and will be coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders they want me to disappear yeah fucking right so my thoughts and opinions on this situation is that i don't understand why grown adults always 
be texting people that are younger than them especially from that respect this man is married and he has a child what is wrong with you my guy what the living fuck is wrong with you like you can't find nobody your age like i never understand people like that the disrespect they are grown as adults and you mean to tell me that out of everybody in the world of all the older women men or people out there you find an underage person attractive y'all are sick man y'all are fucking sick i have no words to say bye